my name is Kyung Lee. I'm a assistant professor at the University of uh, Michigan. I study the role of hypoxia in B cell migration and function in pancreatic cancer. My proposed research aims to understand how B cells regulate pancreatic cancer initiation and progression. Um, one of the most unique features of pancreatic cancer is the presence of rich non-cancer cell elements in the tumor mass called stroma. B cells are uh, frequently found in pancreatic cancer stroma. Um, however, the role of B cells in pancreatic cancer remains largely unknown. Um, and we recently found that depleting B cells slows down pancreatic cancer. Um, and we'll investigate how B cells are recruited to the tumor site and how um, distinct B cell sub cell populations contribute to pancreatic tumor genesis. Um, we expect that a better understanding of B cell migration and function in pancreatic cancer um, will um, aid in designing optimized immunotherapeutic treatments for pancreatic cancer patients. Right, so solely tumor, actually all solely tumors have stroma. A pancreatic cancer is the most, like one of the most trauma-rich cancer cancers. So for example, like breast cancer, lung cancer, all those tumors have stroma. And the interesting thing is that each tumor type has distinct populations of stroma cells. And that's why we like, we need to understand better, for example, like what kind of stroma cells um, are recruited or expanded in pancreatic cancer and what um, components of stroma in pancreatic cancer, for example, um, promote tumor genesis or inhibit tumor genesis. So I, in general, in my lab, we study how hypoxia regulates stroma components. So main, main population I'm interested in is B cells because we previously found that when we manipulate um, the ability of cells to adapt to hypoxia, uh, that actually changes B cell infiltration dramatically. So that's how we actually uh, found out that B, cell, um, B cells are important in pancreatic um, cancer uh, uh, initiation and progression. So I think hypoxia B cells in pancreatic cancer are, are the important um, things we uh, need to figure out. So when tumors grow, they need also a uh, uh, well-established blood vessel. So the blood vessel basically provide nutrient and oxygen, but because tumor grows so fast and they actually consume a lot of oxygen and uh, like nutrients. So they actually, not only pancreas, all solid tumors experience some degree of hypoxia, like low oxygen, low nutrient. Um, and the tumors, but find a way to survive in those stressful conditions. And pancreatic cancer is one of the most hypoxic tumors. So that's why I interested how uh, hypoxia actually um, regulates pancreatic tumor genesis. So my lab uh, studies um, pancreatic cancer tumor micro my microenvironment. And one of the um, main features of pancreatic cancer microenvironment is uh, low oxygen tension. So uh, pancreatic cancer, um, a lot of, um, cancer patients have very hypoxic area, meaning their oxygen is very limited uh, in tumors. And that affects a lot of uh, aspects of biology, but um, one of the uh, aspects probably B cell function. So I think the, the most important data uh, we uh, previous generated is leading B cells promotes pancreatic tumorogenesis. And our preliminary data suggests that hypoxia um, contributes to B cell recruitment to the tumor site. And we are currently studying what are the actual molecular uh, pathway involved in that. First of all, we don't know much about B cells in pancreatic cancer. Uh, we found there are two main B cell subsets in pancreatic cancer. There are B1 B cells and B2 B cells. And uh, I actually propose, my proposal is about, um, you know, to, to figure out their functions in pancreatic cancer. Whether they have distinct functions, I, I expect. Uh, I hypothesize that B1 B cells have protomerogenic functions at least, uh, but I actually don't know. Um, you know, whether that turned out to be <laughs> uh, true. Uh, but it's actually really important to understand 
in general, like the B cell function in pancreatic cancer, because, you know, we should know how they work and they, their function. So then uh, how we actually treat them in cancer patients. Their functions are distinct. By the way, actually in general, B1, B cell function is not well known in early tumors, uh, not only in pancreatic cancer. Uh, we are trying to figure out um, whether B1, B cells actually promote tumorigenesis um, or B2, B cells also promote tumorigenesis and how they actually, if they are, then how they do it. Um, one, there are a couple of um, mechanisms we are considering to test. One mechanism I proposed in the, um, in the grant uh, is that um, maybe hypoxia, this low oxygen tension promotes um, expression of certain uh, cytokine um, in B1, B cells, um, and that can actually inhibit T cell activity. T cells are the important um, immune cell type actually uh, kill, can kill the tumor cells. It's um, the 11th most commonly diagnosed cancer, but then it's actually the third leading cause of cancer that the five-year five survival rate is only 10%. And the, um, because it's very deadly, uh, even if it's, it's not a common cancer, it's actually the third leading cause of cancer deaths. And the, the main reasons um, is that like the, prognos the, the main reason of the pro prognosis is um, our inability to diagnose pancreatic cancer at early stage. And it's actually related to conventional treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation. So we need something, a unique uh, strategy to cure pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm.